Welcome to the Royal Road School of Carmelite Prayer. At the present time, we are listening to a talk given by a Carmelite friar, Father John Emmanuel, on the fruits of prayer. He divides the fruits into three main categories, the knowledge of self, the knowledge of others, and the knowledge of God. Today, we listen to him talk about the knowledge of others. He's basically talking about a change in attitude. My attitude towards others changes. He points out that I become more humble, less judgmental. I seem to have more compassion for others as I develop more compassion for myself, for the fragileness of others, their limitations. I can show them mercy because of the mercy shown me by Christ. I become more inward focused so I am less apt to judge the exterior as I realize that the other has an interior life as well. Maybe someone who is agitated is simply having a difficult day. I have a new look towards others. I am less prone to judge simply based on appearances. I become more tolerant all around. My boundaries improve as well. God has enlarged my heart. My heart is larger. There is more space. And this creates a distance between me and other people, like having a spiritual airbag. The outside world doesn't touch me the way it used to. I am not completely devastated as I perhaps once was. I just don't feel as threatened. I am able to find the appropriate distance with each situation that presents itself. My yes becomes and remains yes, and my no, no. The no, however, comes from the charitable space within me from prayer. It's a charitable no. In listening, another fruit in this category, in this exchange of friendship, I I learn to listen and to speak. In prayer, I learn to listen to God, who doesn't speak the same language as I do. So I have to listen to hear. I can then hear others better because of the silence that is within me now. I can hear the underlying meaning. Silent listening brings about more patience in me. I have two ears and one mouth. I learn to open the ears of my heart to hear God. I have had to make adjustments to understand. The result is that with others, there is less misunderstanding. A spiritual guide has this ability to actively listen. Practice this in prayer. Another fruit is the works of God through me acts of charity. St. John of the Cross says that one act of pure love is worth a million without love. I become more charitable. It's God's charity in me. This can lead me to carry a profound charity, to do profound works of charity. God is working in me. I let myself be invaded, completely invaded by God's charity. Mother Teresa is a good example of this for us. Christ said that we would do more works of charity than he did 
as he was only here three years. Amen. So we have just listened to Father talk to us about the knowledge of others and how our attitude changes, how we become more charitable, a more charitable person in the world. So the next category that we will listen to is the Father talking to us about the knowledge of God. So I hope you're finding this beneficial, and may God bless you and yours. Amen.